guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you everything that I pack when I go on summer holiday. And the reason I'm making this is because I recently showed you what I pack for the kids when we go away, and also my packing hacks. And in the comment section of both of those videos, so many of you requested that I film what I pack for myself. So that's what I'm doing here today, because tomorrow we are off to Tenerife for two weeks, and we can't wait. So it is gonna be a hot beach holiday, and I'm gonna show you everything that I'm putting in my case from toiletries to underwear to dresses to shoes absolutely everything and I'll just talk you through it like you're around my house and I may also try on some of the dresses so that you can see what they actually look like and if any of them are still available I will link them in the description down below as well but yes I think I'm quite a light packer I'm definitely lighter now that I have children because they need the space let's face it but I'm still taking about 17 dresses. Uh, but anyway, with all that said, let's get into the video, and I think I'm gonna start out with my toiletries. So because I am taking 17 dresses away with me, and I plan to spend the majority of my time in swimwear, I will definitely need to bring my disposable razors and also my shave gel. Both of these are from the Bic Soleil range, and these are my favorite razors to use. They are super affordable, but they are such a good product as well. They're really easy, quick to use, and so convenient to pack as well if you're going away. What I normally do is shave my legs right before I go away, and then while we are away, top them up as and when it's needed. But obviously, as a busy mum of three, I don't have lots of time to spend pampering myself, but these make my legs so smooth in an instant. Sometimes I will even shave my legs in the sink while the boys sit in the bath. Now that they're a bit older, they can kind of sit there while I just really quickly shave my legs and it makes them so smooth and it just gives me more time to spend with them and to enjoy our holiday. So I would totally recommend these. They actually come in really cute bright colors. And I'm also taking the Bic Soleil gel to shave with as well. Sometimes I'll just use hair conditioner to shave my legs with, but when I do use the proper gel, I see a massive difference in how much hair I've actually got and how smooth my legs are afterwards. This also has aloe vera and vitamin E in it as well, so that should hopefully help with the suntan and the sunburn. Um, so yes, I will put links to these down below in the description if you want to find out any more about them. But yes, as I said, I would totally recommend them. And now I'll show you what else I'm taking as well. These are the rest of the toiletries that I'm bringing and seeing all of my products laid out like this makes me think that maybe I bring too many, but these are for both me and Matt, so that's how I'm gonna justify it. So we have a brand new body lotion for both of us to use. Also have a dry shampoo and then a conditioner and a shampoo which I have decanted into these little Amazon bottles. So these will be for both of us for the duration of our stay. If I run out of these, I will just use the shampoo that is in the hotel. Then I have this really cool fragrance um, paintbrush which is from Joe Loves. This is in the scent Red Truffle and I just really think it's quite cool. You kind of just pump it up at the bottom and then you can just put it on your neck or your arms or anywhere. It's perfect for travel because it's quite small. And then I also have two other fragrances. I know this is probably really unnecessary, but I bought these little um, containers on Amazon and you can just decant your favorite fragrances into them and they're quite cute and tiny. So I've got those. Um, and then I'm going to bring a toothpaste. Um, I'm bringing my electric toothbrush because I can't live without it. Um, I showed you my razor and my gel. Then I have two sun creams, a 15 and a 30. And these are like the long lasting ones. So hopefully I won't have to reapply too much. Then I've got my deodorant, which is Mitchum. And then I have loads of skincare samples. So my husband, Matt, he owns a salon, which means that we can get lots of little minis from his salon. So we're taking loads of Dermalogica away with us, but I'm also taking some Romilly Wild as well. But yeah, so I've got an eye cream, I've got toner, I've got um, like just so much thermofoliant, special cleansing gel, eye cream, I've got it all. If you want to see all of this in depth, I'll link my skincare routine down below. When it comes to hair, all I'm taking is my wet brush, which I cannot live without, I love using it. And I'm also taking a Remington uh, wand to curl my hair with as well. And then I'll show you quickly the contents of my makeup bag. Yeah, so if you didn't see my packing hacks video, this is one of those cool makeup bags that I found on Amazon which opens out completely flat so you can see everything that's inside it. Yeah, so this is my makeup bag all opened up and I'll just quickly run you through. I've got some brushes, a mascara, 
two eyebrow products, which are both from Benefit, two Charlotte Tilbury liquid eyeshadows. I love these because they are so quick and easy to put on. I have one in Jean and one in Bet. Those are the colors. Then I've got my Estee Lauder Double Wear, which I swear by, and I also like that it has SPF in it. Then I have my Clarins Concealer, some floss, two lipsticks, which are both Charlotte Tilbury. One is Coachella. Coachella Coral, one is Hot Emily, which is what I'm actually wearing in this video. Then I've got two palettes. These are the Bronze and Glow palettes. They're not cheap, but I just love them. Um, so I've got one which is the Blush, I think it's the Blush Bronze and Glow palette. So you get your nice pink one, which makes you look really healthy, and then also your bronze there. And then I also got this one, which is actually the darker palette, hoping that when I have a tan, that I can use this one. And then, yeah, I've got brushes and I've got a lip liner, which will work for both of these. And that is it. When it comes to shoes, I'm taking three very neutral kind of shoes that I can hopefully wear with anything. I'm just taking one a pair of gold heels with me. I believe these are um, Carvella. And then I'm taking one pair of Primark flats with me, which have really seen better days. But I just know they're gonna get ruined on holiday, so I'm not even gonna update them for our holiday. And then I'm taking one pair of Mayfly trainers. These are what I'm actually gonna be wearing going and coming back. So on the way there, I'm wearing those trainers with a little rainbow dress. And then I've got my coming home outfit, which is jeans and a tie-dye t-shirt as well. And then I'm gonna wear the trainers with that. For the sunglasses, I'm taking three pairs of sunglasses with me, two cheapy ASOS ones, which are a little bit more like cat side, and then one nice pair of Ray-Bans, which Matt bought me for my birthday, I believe. Um, they're a nice neutral color. Then I have our first aid kit. So basically, I have put a bit of every single type of medicine. I've got Band-Aids, I've got Nurofen for the kids, I've got heel cream, because my heels get really dry. I've literally got everything in there. I've even got our stain bar, which is great because we have very young children. They sometimes stain their clothes, so I've got that as well. But I, I basically have so much. I've got Dyrolite, I've got cotton buds, I've got teeth powder, I've got paracetamol, I've got allergy tablets. I literally have everything. And the thinking behind packing a bit of every type of medicine is I feel like if I pack it, then I'm not gonna need it. Then I'm bringing one tiny handbag. I mean, let's be real, I'm probably not gonna need a handbag because I always have the buggy with me. So I'll probably just have a big baby bag hanging off the buggy, but just on the off chance that we get to go on a date, I'm taking that. I'm also taking some brand new socks from Primark. I doubt I'll be in socks much, but I just thought if I'm in the room and I want them, I've got them there. And then I've put all of my jewelry into a little pill box. So I'll show you what that looks like. You can probably tell that this container is really old, but it's such a good way to store jewelry because it means nothing gets tangled up. So I've got earrings. These are all basically bigger statement earrings here. And then I also have some little bracelets to wear as well. I'm now gonna show you what underwear I'm taking with me. And I know this is really personal, but I'm gonna show you anyway because I think I would find this interesting. So I'm taking four different bras, but I'm going to to wear the white one going and coming home as well. So I've got a flesh colored bra because some dresses need that. I've got a white one, I've got a black one, and I've got a strapless one as well. So I need all of these for the different dresses that I'm wearing. And then for underwear, because we're going away for two weeks and we have no laundry facilities while we're there, I'm taking 14 underwears with me and I'll also be wearing some going as well. But these are my favorite ones. They are Victoria's Secret. They have a nice like wide band. I feel like this doesn't show seams at all and I also have a couple that are like this which are really really seamless under dresses so I've got like an array of different colors um, and yeah I just love these I've been buying these ones for years so that's that and then for swimwear I am taking four swimsuits some of them have cutouts but pretty much they're all proper swimwear this one you may recognize, I take this away with me a lot, and I actually bought it when Jackson was very tiny and he was still breastfeeding. It's a great swimsuit for breastfeeding. I think Next may still have this as well. So I've got that one, I think it's really flattering. Then I have this new swimsuit, which is from River Island. I've seen so many people wearing it on social media, but I like that it has a bit of a cutout here and then two different patterns. It's a really flattering swimsuit and I can't wait to wear it. I just got it. 
Then I have a little one from Pretty Little Thing, which is quite good with support. And then it also has a little peplum, which gives my mum tum a little bit of grace. <laughs> and then I've got an old um, blue one, which I really like. It has some mesh panels in it. Um, and then I really like the back on it as well. So I like this one and the black one. They really hold me in. And if I was going to go down water slides with the kids or anything like that, like nothing's going to come out that shouldn't come out. I'm also taking two sets of pajamas, a pineapple one and like a floral one. Both of these are from ASOS, they're super thin, they'll be fine if it's nice and hot, so I'm just taking the two pairs. Next up I have a packing cube with five different caftans in it. If you saw my packing hacks then you'll know that I love a packing cube. It just keeps everything together. Um, so yes, I've got five different ones, they are from various places. I think most of them are ASOS, H&M or Primark. These will just be perfect to throw on over my swimwear in the daytime and just walk around in these. They dry super quickly if they get wet. Now I'm going to show you my outfits and as I said I have loads of dresses but I have day ones and night ones as well. What we tend to do on holiday is have the day around the pool and then go back to our room at about five o'clock, get showered, get changed, get completely ready for the evening entertainment and restaurants. I don't know if that's a British thing to do or what but we just tend to get ready every single night, make an effort, have photos, go for drinks and we really really love it even the boys get changed so some of these dresses I'm going to wear in the evening and then I will also then wear them again during the day on another day um, because we're going for so long so yes anyway enough talk right so I have a few dresses that are definitely just day dresses but I thought we'd bring them as well as the caftans in case we leave the resort a couple of times there is a zoo and also a water park so I may want like real clothes in the day not just a caftan so I've got two dresses I've got a Topshop play suit and then I've also got this co-ord from ASOS these are pom-pom shorts and then I also have a matching off the shoulder top and I think the print is really really cute then on to the dresses so I guess I'll just start here I have a black maxi dress from Amazon I have this dress here which is new from never fully dressed I love it so much it is an animal print green dress it's a wrap around and it is midi length it's very comfortable and also very practical if you're a mum like me I think it's really flattering as well then I have this dress from Primark you may have seen this in my other vlogs just a really simple but colorful dress and I'm hoping that it will look really nice with a tan then I have this army green swing dress from H&M. This is so old, it must be about 10 years old, but I love it and I wear it every single summer. I just keep pulling it out. Then I have this black jumpsuit from ASOS. It's really, really comfortable and I think it's really flattering because it really pulls in at the waist. It has like a bit of a knot at the front. Then I have another animal print outfit from Never Fully Dressed. This is actually a sarong, but it can also be a skirt as well and then I'm bringing a black bodysuit to wear under it and it's like a bardo bodysuit as well so it's off the shoulder which is really nice then I have a little baby blue dress which I love to bring on holiday with us I wore this in Punta Cana and it's really really comfortable then I have a little play suit from Zara this is new and I believe it's still available I liked how loose it is it's casual but it can also be quite dressy and then it has cold shoulder on it as well then I also have another little Zara play suit which you may have seen in my other vlogs I love it it's just so comfortable and it is green you can also eat a massive meal in it because it's very forgiving and then I have two dresses which I recently bought on Amazon these were in my Amazon haul I got one in yellow and one in navy blue they're really summery and I feel like if I can get away with wearing these anywhere it will be on holiday then I have a floral ruffle dress from H&M. This is seven years old. I bought this when I was pregnant with Fraser because you can fit a baby bump in it and I tend to wear it on every holiday. I really love it. 
Then I have my midi length Zara dress, which is an off the shoulder dress. And I have an old H&M play suit, which I love. I get it out again every holiday. It's really comfortable and also practical when you're running after little ones. Then I have an ASOS off the shoulder dress. This one is very loose, very comfortable. It also has some tassels on the sleeve. This again is perfect for nighttime, but also for day as well. Then I have a little play suit, which is Primark. And I've actually only worn this on holidays before um, because it is quite short, but it's really comfortable. And again, great for little ones. And then I have a new dress, which I'm totally in love with from Zara. I keep wearing it. Well, it's kind of a dress slash play suit. It has shorts and then a long skirt around it. I like the way it cinches in at the waist. I like the print. I'm just so comfortable in it. And then finally, I wanted to show you a few more random bits that we are also taking with us. I have a big beach bag, which was a freebie at an event. This is just great for the kids. Toys for the pool, life jackets, swimming costumes, you know, all the other stuff that I will need apart from my big handbag. Then I have two mesh bags, which I picked up on Amazon. These are for laundry. So any dirty clothes, I will put darks in one, lights in one. It's a amazing it just helps me with laundry so so much totally recommend it then I'm also bringing some washing up liquid which I put into one of these little containers which was again from Amazon and I have labeled it very clearly because can you imagine if Matt used this on his hair or on the kids I bring this because we bring cups for the kids they still drink milk every night so we'll tend to get milk from the bar and then bring it back so we need to wash up the cups every day and then finally I I have our extension lead which um, is like basically has four plug sockets and then we just have one adapter and as soon as we get there we have four plug sockets that we can use right so that is everything that I'm taking with me the only thing I haven't shown you is all the techie stuff like cameras chargers wires GoPros all of that if you are interested in seeing what I'm gonna take with me on holiday then I have actually made a video on my IGTV channel which you can go and check out and you can see what cameras I use and all of that stuff but that is pretty much it thank you so much for watching this video and thank you so much to Bixelay for sponsoring it and yeah if you have any other things that you think I need to like last minute put in my suitcase then please comment down below because we're not actually leaving until tomorrow and I feel like I've forgotten something but I don't know what um, but yeah thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one bye guys